Welcome back to Benton Alien Force, where I am trying to fix an issue with cables between my headphones and the Wii controller. There we go, I think I s fixed it. <clears throat> yeah, um... How do I talk about this? I really have no idea what this game is progressing to. Uh, but I do have... Um, some kind of things to say, uh, but I'll talk about them in in the uh, actual mission. Running on autopilot, and again, there's not there's nothing really like special about it. But oh well, let's go. Gwen, I found the entrance to the ship. It's open, and there are no guards around. Guess I lucked out. Gwen? I'm losing you. Must be interference from the ship. Ben, don't go in. Sorry, Gwen. I can't hear you. I'm going in. I'll contact you as soon as I can. Now all I have to do is find the autopilot controls, activate them, and get out before the ship takes off. Piece of cake. Yeah, don't make it seem as easy as it isn't. <laughs> There's a lot of shit that you uh, need to be worried about. So, did I have everything unlocked for Humongousaur? Yeah, I did. Okay. That's right. I did. Okay. I should probably... Uh, discuss the first thing that was on my mind. So, uh, yesterday, as I was looking up some stuff to buy, uh, whether it be for one reason or another, there was something that crossed my mind, and it was this game, actually. I remembered how I purchased this version of this game after I had uh, purchased a version for the DS. And let me just say, it is vastly different. The missions aren't even the same, and uh, where it ends up going is nowhere near the same. Do I have to stand on this as Humongousaur or something? And to prove how different it was. Yeah, there we go. And to prove how different it was, the heroes that you used were different. I remember Swampfire and maybe Big Chill, but the third and fourth uh, heroes for you to use were literally, um... Oh, what what's their names? Uh... Goop and Echo Echo, I think. I remember Goop explicitly. And another thing about this game. That panel looks like it's linked to the autopilot system. So I should destroy it? Uh I'll make short work of you guys. But yeah, it had there's one mission explicitly that I remember in it that I thought Goop was the best. Okay, so... Oh, I had to press down on it. Of course Weird. I did. I know this switch is connected to the autopilot system. There must be a series of these switches throughout the ship. I guess I'll have to find and activate all of them before I can get this ship to move. Thank you, Ben. Uh, but in this, in this mission, uh... It was, I think, a boss battle. And I could not beat it for the life of me. Then again, that's when I was a kid. So who knows if I could beat it now. I probably could, but that's not the point. So I can't beat this. And I asked any of my friends. <coughs> uh, excuse me. I asked any of my friends if they could. Ah, oh, shit. I thought I was just going to stand on it. If they could take a crack at it because normally there was always one person in our friend group that could beat one level that another person couldn't. Not saying that one person could always beat every level, but it was always like a mixed bag of who could beat and who couldn't beat one specific thing. But, uh... I remember giving it to my friends. They couldn't beat it at all. 
And we all ended up getting it down to like 15% health. Because the fighting on the DS was god fucking awful. I'm not saying like this isn't bad when fighting a boss. But compared to the DS, it just didn't ever connect if I remember correctly. And uh... Oh shit, god damn it. And after giving it to my friends, I sat on the game for like a week and didn't touch it just because I thought, why why would I play something that I can't beat? So I thought to myself, maybe maybe it's because I'm going at it with a wrong strategy. I boot up the game and I've beat the level somehow. And not just that, not just that level, but the level beyond it. I skipped two full- oh wait, I have to do something? I skipped two full levels somehow. Are you gonna tell me which way to go? I skipped two full levels in that DS game, and then I- and I got to the next area, and I just looked at it, and I just said, I don't want to play this game now. And to be honest, I don't remember where that game is. Because I remember selling some PS2 games. Uh, which I regret. But I don't remember if I ever sold any DS games. At least do some damage if you're gonna have the animation of him falling down for that move. Because he didn't do anything. And here they come. But, uh, that leads me into my other thing. Uh, the thing that I was looking up to purchase, uh, was actually, uh, more Ben 10 games. <laughs> now, after this, I have Omniverse. I think I might have mentioned it. So I just thought, you know what, why don't I, why don't I check to see if I can get, uh, an Ultimate Alien game. I checked online, lo and behold, there's a second Alien Force game. And not just that. Oh no. Oh shit. Okay. We're gonna go with fast character. Wait, what? Here we go. Uh, there's not only a, uh, word I'm looking for. There's not only one... Come on. There's not only one, uh... Alien Force game. There's not only two, but there's technically a third, but apparently it tanked hard. Uh... So this next game that's supposed to be coming is called Benton Alien Force Bilgax Attacks. And, uh, the reason that I thought that this game was incomplete and, like, so sped up is because it is. A lot like, um, the Alan Wake series that I did, I felt as if, like, it was empty because it wasn't a complete game. As is this. They still base it off the first two seasons, I believe. And then Vilgax Attacks is on the, uh third and final seasons of Alien Force, and then, come on, fuck off, and then after they made Vilgax Attacks, uh, I guess they made a, uh, or attempted to make a game that was available on the Wii U Play Store? Something, something for the Wii U. And then, uh... Do I have to go to the left now or something? Nope. Okay. And then... Also on the Wii U was Xbox Live Party Play or something like that, I think it was called. I don't really remember. Uh, but it tanked hard. Like, it got like a 1.7 rating or something. And... 
it was pulled. <laughs> it was pulled hard, I guess. Alright, fine, fuckheads. You wanna be like that? There you go. Let's see, what was the last thought I had? Um... But, oh yeah. Uh, this... Third-ish type of game... Tanked hard. And it was, uh... The Curse of... No, not the Curse. It had something to do with, um... Magic Man from Ben 10. The original Ben 10. I can't remember what his name was for the life of me. But, uh, yeah. They tried to do something, and boy, did that fail. Uh, so that game is no longer available to play. And then, uh, what's something else that I found out? Oh, yeah. So I purchased Vilgax Attacks. And then after that, I purchased... Uh, what's it called? Benton Ultimate Alien Cosmic Destruction. That's it. Now, I didn't look up any reviews. I didn't look up anything else. I got that. And then after Cosmic Destruction and Ultimate Alien comes... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Comes Omniverse. I already have the first one, but apparently they made a second one for Omniverse as well. I don't know if that follows, like, the seasons as, like, this game and, uh... Uh, what's... Uh, Vilgax Attacks for seasons three and four. But, uh, yeah. I hope you're looking forward to those. And one thing that I should talk about is the fact that I got uh, Omniverse 2 at a cheaper rate than I probably would have gotten anywhere else. Because on eBay, somebody was selling it saying that, that they had already connected their Omni link, which I guess was a play, uh, a, a toy, basically, that could connect... Uh, the user to their TV for a game that if you had purchased one and all it did was just play sound effects from the characters and that was it. So yeah, kind of preying on uh, children's inhibition to understand uh, bad products, but uh, I guess the Omni Link was already attached. Uh, it's, it's not like it adds any characters at all. I checked. I, I made... 15,000% sure that wasn't an actual thing that it wouldn't add or deplete characters. But, yeah, it. Something that probably only connects once. I don't need to connect it. So, I bet somebody tried to have some fun with it, but I know a product like that gets old very fast after probably like the first use. Alright. Oh my god, how many of you are there? That's three sets, and I'm just trying to get to Spider Monkey. Oh my god. There we go, Jesus. I remember this. Ah, fuck. I got too close. Okay. I think I remember that explicitly. But yeah, I hope you're looking forward to all those series. I mean, I kind of did it with, uh, Avatar, but I mean, there's only three games there. This thing has, uh, let's see, there's Protector of Earth, which was the first game. Uh, there weren't any other Ben 10 games. 
original Ben 10 games. Uh, then there was um, this game, so two. Bill Gax attacks, three. Uh, Magic Man, four. Hmm. Let's see. Ultimate Alien, five. And then both Omniverses, six and seven. So there are seven games, technically with actual good gameplay. But I'm going to tell you now, they made a uh, racing game for Ben 10, which I knew about, and I thought it was a joke that that it was like a bad copy of uh, Mario Kart. And I know that there are some companies that do it, and like Crash Bandicoot, where it's somewhat of a fun game, and try and do it with Sonic. But Mario Kart is just so practiced in what they do that it looks good as well. It's not just a good racing game, but it actually looks as good as it is to play. And then, uh... And then I checked to see, because I guess the new revision to, uh... Ben 10 in the animation that I'm not quite a fan of. Okay, do I need to turn that on at all? The autopilot thing? Probably after I beat these fuckers. Nope, nothing. Okay. So, yeah, just, I just wanted to explain a bit while I have this time, while I'm going through the level. That's what I've been doing in my off time. Oh, thank god, that's a big steep drop. Okay, looks like it's jet ray time because I do not want to deal with mishaps. What's the point of you guys being here? Like, I understand, like, why you would make me try and go through this, but what, why are you guys here? You guys can't leave. Coming? Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Something tells me I'm gonna have to, like, access these or something. So, I don't really remember the aliens that are available to me in... Uh... Uh, Omniverse. But I'm looking forward to... I'm looking... Oh my fuck! My god, these spitters do a bit of damage. I... I remember... One character explicitly... From, uh... Omniverse, and it's like jumper cables or something like that. Like the character looks like it's he's like made out of cables or something. He's black and yellow, and that's about it. I those three pipes are heating that pool of water. Gotcha. So I need humongous door. Oh, I thought he was gonna do an action. I just need to destroy it.
Monica. Maybe if I use you. Let's get this show off the road. There we go. Oh, yeah, it, it was definitely heating up this water. I didn't realize it was going to freeze. Alright. That's the next. Ooh, spider monkey. I'm kind of interested to see for Cosmic Destruction or Ultimate Alien to see uh, if you're always allowed to go into... Ah! this camera angle if you're always able to go into oh i just realized these are these are cells on these walls and plant cells to be exact because they've got a box shape but um i'm wondering if you're able to always go into ultimate alien form or if there's like a cooldown or something and how they implement it. Because I, I, like I said, uh, I think either in the last episode or the episode before it, after a while, I kind of gave up on the series just because I couldn't follow it after Alien X. I only showed it however often. Fuck me. Whew. There we go. Just jump outward if you're scared. <laughs> oh. There we go. Nice. Now what? Uh, jet ray time? Ooh, that was close. Oh, what the... What the fuck? Okay. Come on, give this to me. Uh-oh, okay. Can I turn into an alien that will suit my needs? The, the moves take too long for anything. What the fuck are you talking about, Gwen? I'm not even at the point that you're at. Shit. Okay, now I won't lose health. Come on, are you gonna give me any more at all? Move through what? You mean the water? Because I could always transform into a jet ray and escape whatever you're talking about. Except for Humongousaur, Jet Ray's kind of got the best moveset because he moves so quickly that at least it chains together well. And this move just removes you from danger while being able to do any attacks at all. In here? Okay. Before I see any more... Enemies, I'm going to recharge health. Head and shoulders above the rest. I did a pretty good combo there. You're a huge pain. Where's the next set of villain? There we go. Okay, now what do I do? 
Something tells me I've got to use you. Huh? You're a huge pain. Oh, that... Okay, I saw that before, but I didn't know what it was about. Works out pretty well. The only issue is that Humongous Sword takes up so much of this fucking screen that you can't. Or maybe the camera angle just follows the head. And that's why it's an issue. Oh. Next. Fuck. You. Fuck you, and fuck you. Oh, there is more. Die in a vat of acid. Oh, fuck. Why would you do that? And why would you spawn underneath me? I can't even see these goddamn enemies. Uh oh. Anything to get rid of these fuckers. Oh, over here. I was like, that's not the door. Large and in charge. Okay. Uh I'm going to use you. Okay. Um maybe Ben might be best. Who knows? Or not. What the fuck? I thought I was out of the way for that. Just keep running. Just keep running. Wait, why did it... Was there one that stopped? Like, stopped midway or something? It was like a trick? Yeah. Gotcha. Wait a minute. Now that one's... Now that area is different. Like, it's not just... Okay, gotcha. That one's more... Quick. So that's probably where I turn into Jet Ray and use speed to my advantage. Alright, where is Jet Ray? There we go. Yep. Uh, now what? What the heck? That fan was adjusting my blast. All right, next. Uh, can I keep going? Yeah, okay. Why- why the fuck would it- Uh, it just drove me into the ground. Great. Uh, where are you? Actually, uh, I was gonna try and turn into Humongous Shore, but... Sometimes the D-pad doesn't work the right way. No! Oh, Jesus. It was about to- mm. Alright. Uh, this is a wall for Spider Monkey, right? Time for a little monkey business. 
Hmm. Got to get these pistons moving somehow. Gotcha. Down this way. I can't see anything if you move around the camera angle like that. Gotcha. Uh, I need Ben for this area because his speed is... God damn it. I was waiting for it to come down just to realize that one didn't lower. Alright, spider monkey again. There are you. one okay now this one is jet rayish speed I think that's it okay good come on let me out Where are we looking? Give it to me. Die. Please. You are the bane of an existence. Quite literally. I wonder if I end up killing any of the high breeds. Oh, I was about to say, it really expects you to move that fast and try and land on them? Thank God not. It's a, an animation. All of you. It's sad, like everybody else's like special the down B attacks kinda do enough damage where it could basically kill someone, but spider monkeys is almost useless. Because it, it just is almost like another attack, essentially. What the fuck? Why can you cancel out my attacks? Where are you? Oh my god, I hate that. Just let me see where all the enemies are. Oh my fucking god, it is perfectly timed to attack right when I need it to. That B- that BA combo is awful. This one right here. It takes up so much time. So much time that you don't have. And I don't know why they designed it in such a way. trippy wow I thought the 
rest of the ship was cold. Those heat exchanger columns must keep the hot air out. That's why it's so cold in here. A hybrid are weakened by heat. Well, at least nobody's home. I can just activate the last of the autopilot panels and be on my way. And those panels must be... On the ceiling? I guess I have to start thinking in zero gravity terms. Maybe that switch does something that allows the crew to get to those ceiling controls. They're also hybrid and they're you. fucking massive. So it is you who has been tampering with our vessel. The impure creatures of this planet cause much trouble for such an obviously inferior race. What kind and of subtitles you, are these? Ben Tennyson are the most troublesome of all. Yeah, that's what all my teachers used to say when I was a kid. But I'm pretty likable once you get to know me. Insolent creature. You shall pay the price for meddling in the affairs of superior beings. If I can find a way to expose the hybrid to heat, it might slow him down. Hmm. Stand still. So can I just can I just activate this switch anytime I want? Oh my! If I can Holy find shit! Is he strong? Heat, it might slow him down. I tried to dodge. He is so fucking strong. Expose the hybrid to heat. It might slow him down. Vermin, you will pay for your insolence. There's no way I can defeat this guy. I just have to fight him off long enough to activate all the autopilots. Come. You will pay for this. Uh. How do I? No! What the fuck? Come on! What a fucking ass! All lower life forms will be crushed by the hybrid. All right, I I want I want a quick form, please. Come on, just. I've already wasted the time that I should get to it. Come on, how do I activate these? I I have to press down, but it it just kept activating my ability, goddammit. Well, that's not it. I can't do that. I was about to say it's not activating. Oh, it immediately switches? Okay, so I don't, e I don't even need to worry about, like... Come on. This game is tedious. Just let me beat it. I'm stuck! If you're gonna do this, don't allow that to happen. Come on. Alright, where's the next view? Over here. Oh, now he's starting to get with us or something? Ouch. Come on. Fucking Xenocytes are pissing me off. Alright, I think that's it. And then the last one. I just need to hit. Alright, I hit the last one. Okay. Now what? Shit. Do I just need to hit this now? And is that it? Okay. Fine. As soon as you are, that weather array is offline. Permanently. 
Your actions only serve to prove the inferiority of your species. Removing this vessel from the circuitry grid does not deactivate the weather array. The ship's departure initiates the startup sequence. <laughs> oh boy. You see, you might have set back our plans the last time we encountered you. But this time, it is you who have set our plans in motion. You gathered the components needed for our weather array, and you made sure the array was activated in a timely manner. And now... Now, you will watch as your people slowly freeze to death as our weather array makes this portion of your planet suitable for habitation by the one true race. Way to go, Ben. I was about to say, he could just turn into oh, no. any form, really. What have I done? I've got to get over to the weather array and help Gwen and Kevin destroy that thing before it's too late. Huh. Cool. That's the end of that. <laughs> I barely earned anything in this one. <laughs> at least this mission was at least 40 minutes in length. Like, they should- the mission should be getting longer, not shorter. And I don't understand what they did to that second mission. Obviously, I know what they did to it because they included two extremely long areas. Or maybe I just sucked. I'll have to go back to the footage to see what took me so long. Or if the mission is just long itself. I don't know. I don't know what to think of it. Uh, I guess, I guess uh, just wait around for the next episode. All I can really say. Uh, wait around for the next episode. Wait around for the next few games. But for now, I'll leave you with one final message. Have a nice day.